I think they're really important. Personally, as a student teacher, we always kind of have to personally reflect on our studies or on our placement practice. The most relevant would probably be the category under learning and personal development. I think it forms such a crucial part of what you do at university. I think it's also really good if you decide to go for other jobs as well in the job market because you can say, okay, I know what my strengths and weaknesses are, I know how I'm going to improve these and I'm actively going to pursue doing something. So for me, that, that's the one that I would focus most on. For me, it is just about sort of, you know, understanding why I'm doing certain things. I mean, when you're doing a degree, you're not going to love every second of it from when you start to when you finish. So sometimes having that extra motivation and understanding why you're being asked to do something a certain way or, you know, sort of, it's just, it's almost about challenging you. There's certain things that, you know, you have your strengths and your weaknesses. Um, for example, I don't particularly like doing group work, but now I understand why it's part of my degree and why it's so useful. Actually, the students that I see um, are able to demonstrate in abundance those attributes which are largely grouped under critical thinking and effective communication. Um, and they draw on the other areas too. But it's this ability to, to problem solve, to analyze a situation, to identify opportunities along the way, and then start to make it happen and communicate that to whoever you need to communicate that to. Um, to my mind, those are the students with those attributes are the ones who are going to find it easier to develop a business idea. Whether or not they develop that business idea in the longer term, it, it is my belief that they are the leaders of the future if they go into the world of employment. I think the best thing is to to look at this as we are all in it together and whatever we call these qualities, whether as here we call them attributes or whether um, many employers call them competencies or whether they come from schools that have referred to capacities, we're all talking about the those things that make human beings much more capable and much more able to make their way in a, a very demanding and busy world. Mm -hmm.